Yo, what's good, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, Forrest Rippington. Today, man, we is going out. We're not really shopping. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Some days, you just want to go, like, look at clothes and shit like that, get inspired or just, you know what I'm saying, touch and feel some fabrics or something like that. I do this a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's okay with doing this. A lot of people try to talk shit about window shopping and shit like that. I know 50 Cent made a song. You're just a window shopper. I go window shopping a lot, man. I get inspired by pieces. You don't got to buy pieces to be inspired by it. You get to feel fabrics and be like, all right, I like something like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing today. Um, By the way, I'm in a new whip. I finally just got another whip Um, like two, three days ago. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. No, you know what I'm saying? It's a real good gas saver because y'all know my, I was driving around in a Mustang. That was my other car that I had. And that shit was terrible on gas. All types of shit, but the whip I got now, real good on gas. Basic little, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, we about to go like look at some stores. It's Ace Lorenzo over here. I think it's a Fred Siegel over here, and um, uh, it's a Kiff in here. So I probably just go to some of them stores and just y'all come along with me. You dig? So that's what we about to do. Let's get it, bro. I started walking towards the store and I forgot my mask, bro. This mask shit. You think that we've been wearing masks so long that I wouldn't forget? But like, I still be forgetting. Like in Ace Lorenzo, I don't got to wear my mask. But like other stores, I be having to wear my mask, so. All the time, this be happening to me all the time, bro. You would think I learned my fucking lesson, but I didn't. But we got this joint, so we good now. All right, so this is H. Lorenzo, you know what I'm saying? They got the Marnie slides, looking sweet. This shit's fire. They like Bottega shit. This joint fire, low key. You see it? Shit gas. I don't know how to say this brand, but they got like low, low weight or whatever that is. This shit fire. Yeah. This shit gas. And they also got this. Somebody tell me how to pronounce this. Low, low weight, low weight. I've seen this brand a lot, but this jacket's fire. I don't really like the back though. That just threw me off. I don't like the fact that they got that shit on the back, but I like the front. Yeah, I saw this joint too. This is from, I don't know even the name of that, Le Quit. I thought this was the Balenciaga joint, but it's not. I fuck with this joint too. I got this Evisu joint right here. Shit low key gas. And then they got the pants. You can feel that shit. Fuck with those. The Mason Me Harvest. This capital jacket is fire, bro. You can like feel this shit. This capital shit is gas. I saw these shits a minute ago. I low key like these a little bit, but they're like embroidered snowflakes. But I don't know, that shit probably be like tacky or like corny. I might try these on though. I just want to see some, oh shit. This is like a capital jacket, bro. And it turned to a pillow. She look cute too. She look cute too. Some capital shit. I don't know if y'all seen this brand before, Coupe de la Libra or something, but like they make shit that look like sort of like capital stuff. Like it's cool. Some of the stuff be cool, but the only thing I don't like about this shit is like every pair, pair like pair of pants they have is flared. Like all this shit, like corduroy and shit like that, is flared. And every time I see it, I'm thinking it's capital, but then I get reminded, I'm like, nah, this is Coke de la Liberté. There's some chill pieces though. I mean, I like this jacket with the little like stone shits on. They cool. But it's low key just be mimicking capital a little bit too much sometimes. I mean, I seen Thug and all them niggas wear it, but I don't know how y'all feel about this shit. Here go the Earl stuff. They never really have like a large selection of the Earl stuff, but this like little kid shit. Like look at the green hoodie. I told y'all. I by the way, if y'all saw my last video, I ordered that purple and blue uh, Earl hoodie. You see how they don't got pockets on them? That's the only thing that blow me about this hoodie. But other than that, this shit's fire for little kids. Get your get your son or daughter fly. You know what I mean, this bag is fire. This from that brand I was saying look like Capital. This shit's fire. Look how much this joint is, though. Ooh wee! This shit must be a real motherfucking horse or cow, whatever that is. This joint fire too. It's a capital bag. It's just gas. 
All right, so that was Ace Lorenzo right there. I was about to try on the um the snowflake pants, but they only had a 34 in them, so I couldn't try those shits on. But them shits was fire. They like $600 though. Anyway, they remind me of the drinks I got on right now. But we about to go to uh Fred Siegel real fast and see what they got. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm walking past this little like poster little joint. This shit right here. I'm trying to get on a poster like this, bro. On a like, I'm trying to model for somebody like this and have my face like big up there. That should be gas, bro. One day I'm gonna do that shit. One day, if any brand or anybody watching this shit, I'm trying to get on the billboard or something like that one day. Remember I said that. All right, y'all. So I'm in Fred Siegel right now. You gotta wear your mask in this joint, but I got like two, three pieces in here that I want to try on real fast. And this is probably the only thing I've really seen in here. It's like this corduroy little jacket and these like two pants from Wood Wood. Well, this Wood Wood and some other brand, but I'm about to try this shit on. Let's show you how it look like on. This is the jacket, the corduroy jacket. This shit fire. The brand called Six Week Residency. Oh shit. Can't even really see the back, but this shit gas, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though, these pants low key be making everything look sweet. So sometimes when I'm looking at shit, I be like, bruh, I don't know if it's just the pants or not, but this shit gas. All right, y'all, so these the pants, the wood, wood pants. I like these joints. Hopefully they don't copyright me for the music in the background, but I like these joints. These are 30, 32. The only thing about them is they like right on my waist. So I don't know, like y'all know I like my shit's baggy. These are a little bit more like slimmer than usual, but. This shit's low key fire. These with the other pants look like I ain't care to put my shoes on with them because I don't like these shit. So, this point is, but yeah, these the other pants. They're ass. Oh, right, y'all. So, that was all uh, that I've seen. It's not really that many more stores over here that I want to go to. I told y'all I was going to go to Kif, but I know Kif not going to have nothing in there that I want. So, there's no point in me even going to Kif. Um, yeah, like I said, I wanted to try on them, uh, them Capital Snowflake pants because I do like those pants. They like 500 but that shit not, you know what I'm saying? Like the pants I got on right now, these joints that y'all asked about so much, I'm gonna actually do a video about these joints, actually. I'm gonna do a video about these pants. I'm probably just gonna do a video about like just baggy jeans in general again, cause I know I gave y'all one video about the ones that I found, but I'll probably give y'all another video. But um, these was like three something, so like damn near 400, so. 500, like this thing, when you buying like jeans or pants and shit like that, those are the, like pants are uh, what you wear the most like shit, like shirts and jackets and stuff like that. That's cool. But like, I really would suggest you invest your money into a good pair of solid jeans. Like these jeans that I have on, like these jeans right here, I wear these all the time because they're like such good quality. They go with everything. They're like my favorite pants and shit like that. So I would say if you don't invest in nothing else, invest in a good pair of pants because yeah, like y'all see, I got my, my Converse on with these joints. Like these $70, $80 pairs of shoes, like you don't need no crazy amount, like crazy expensive shoes. I say a solid pair of jeans or pants or whatever. Like I swear that will make or break it like your wardrobe and shit like that so i definitely suggest y'all do that i don't know if i'm going to any other places yet right now if i do y'all definitely will see i think i'm about to drive 30 minutes to go to raising canes i went to raising canes for the first time yesterday and it was cool like i saw the little boosie video about him talking about like how raising canes is better than chick-fil-a I'm not sure on that. Raising Cane's do got some good ass bread though. That shit fire. And it does kind of like fill me up more than Chick-fil-A because I eat Chick-fil-A and be hungry in two seconds. But yeah, I think I'm about to drive like 30 minutes to Raising Cane's and go get that. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to go to no other like clothing stores right now for real. For real. I wanted to just come up here and like, number one, it felt good outside. And number two, I just wanted to come up here and like see what Ace Lorenzo had and see what Fred Siegel had. Fred Siegel has some decent pieces in there, though. They did definitely do that. I thought they was going to have the diesel jacket that I showed y'all in my last video. I thought they was going to have that diesel jacket in there, and I was going to be able to show y'all, but they ain't have it. So from now on, whenever I go out somewhere, like, I feel like I'm about to go look at clothes or do something like that, I'm going to pull the camera out, and I'm going to, like, see. Because I began, like, shy to, like, hold my camera up, like, this around people and shit like that. Like, that shit be making me, like, hella, like, shy and, like, nervous or... I don't be wanting people staring at me or causing too much attention to myself. So, yeah, that's why I don't be, like, doing vlogs a lot. But one day, one day I'm going to get to the point where I'm, like, we got a million subscribers and a million views and all that other stuff. And I'm getting hella, like, YouTube bread or whatever else. And I could hire somebody to be my, like, 
personal cameraman to follow me around so that I won't even have to like hold the camera and shit like that. So remember I said that, man, one day, one day I'm gonna be able to do all that. And we really gonna go crazy, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, y'all, so we made it to Raising Canes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying the line was wrapped around the motherfucker. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm flip the little camera so y'all kind of wait. Nah, y'all can't really see, but the line wrapped around the corner. The only thing about Raisin Cane's, they give you this baby ass amount of fries. But this the bread right here. This bread is so fire, bro. It's so good. I told them to give me another one, so I paid for a whole another piece of bread. When I tell y'all this bread fire, this shit fire. But yeah, these are the little chicken scripts and shit like that. But. I can't sit here and say it's better than Chick-fil-A, but this motherfucking bread. Nice and buttery and shit. Mm. This shit fire, but yeah. I drove 25, 30 minutes to get here, so I can't really say nothing, but I'll see y'all in the next video, man. It's your boy Forrest Ripper Tim, and we are out by the Crush's Food. Get it!